So in Skull and Bones, silver is a currency that is used for a lot of stuff. And in this video, we're going to go through how you can make a lot of silver. So there are multiple ways to do this. You can just take down ships. That's going to give you like a couple of hundred here and there. You can go and do your main quest. You can do plunders. But the best way I've found is through the commodities. So when you take down ships, you might get something like an uncut garnet. And then if you travel to outposts, the people that are there that you can interact with, when you go to the sell tab, they might be interested in buying them. You have to be careful with some of the traders because you will see next to resources that you've got, commodities that you've got, you'll see there are either red down arrows or green up arrows. And you want to be selling your commodities when you see a green up arrow because that means they are paying more for that resource. But I would only sell the commodities if you are desperate for a little bit of silver. The best thing I've found at the moment to make silver is if you go to St. Anne, from where you leave the dock, if you run straight forward and a little bit to the left, so not as far left as the blacksmith and everything like that, you want to just go a little bit left, you're going to see something called the job board. On this board, you're going to have different tasks. You might have the, like delivering some uncut garnet. You might even get one for raw jutes. There's like loads of different ones you can get your hands on. And these are going to be paying around a thousand silver each. And some of these are incredibly easy. So I had one to acquire and deliver 30 jutes. So all you want to do for that one, for an example, is to leave St. Anne. You go over to the right hand side, like from where you disembark or embark on your adventure. You go over to the right hand side at the north side of the island there's going to be a bunch of jute that you can harvest i managed to get my hands on like 120 of the stuff and i only needed 30 for the task and then it had me sail about 2,000 meters away from where i was harvesting the jute and i delivered it to get around a thousand silver so it's really really fast the commodities you're going to be able to get by taking down random ships that you like come across on your adventures but make sure you're paying attention to the job board because it's really really valuable and it gives you a lot more silver than what you'll get for just like basically selling the commodities that you find and what we're going to do is leave that video there let me know your thoughts and stuff about the silver in skull and bones in the comments i will see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped you out thank you for watching